Hi guys, welcome to learn English with M to the power of three. In today's lesson, we will learn and practice English with Inside Out 2, a sequel that features Riley entering puberty and experiencing brand new, more complex emotions as a result. As Riley tries to adapt to her teenage years, her old emotions try to adapt to the possibility of being replaced. But before we get started, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell down below because every week there's a new video here on the channel. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single new video. Now let's get started. Number 1. Be hard on oneself. Let's watch. Riley's so hard on herself. But we can make everything easier. To be hard on someone. It means to treat someone in a tough or strict way, often by criticizing them or expecting a lot from them. Be hard on oneself. It means to be overly critical or demanding of yourself. It involves judging yourself harshly, expecting too much, and not forgiving yourself easily for mistakes. Let's watch some examples. Eddie Crane said she was content. But I cannot help but feel like... Well, we were all so hard on her. I just... Can't seem to do anything, right? Come on. Don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, what did you put for your best feature? I put not applicable. <laughs> Come on, dude, you're, you're being too hard on yourself. You He's getting at this age where she's starting to be really hard on herself. I mean, you just, you seem like a, a really nice guy. You know, and just don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Now let's watch that scene again. Oh, Riley's so hard on herself. But we can make everything easier. Number two, be on someone. And number three, lay off. Let's watch. Riley, you aren't packed yet? You're always on me! Can't you just lay off for like one second? Uh, Be on someone. It means to closely monitor or push someone to do something, often by frequently reminding or urging them. For example, if someone says, I'll be on you to finish that project, it means they will closely monitor or remind the person to complete the task. It can have both positive and negative connotations depending on the context. Generally, the negative usage is more common where it implies being irritating or overly critical. It can also be used to indicate who is responsible for something. For example, if someone says, the report is on Jane, it means Jane is responsible for completing the report. Let's watch some examples. No, Debs, look, man, she is always on me about, you know, our plans for the night and when we're going to see her friend's band. Alex, I don't need to be on you about everything you do. Jen was always on me to write her them. I never did, so if I start sending them to you, she'll be pissed. Mike's always on me about doing the right thing. Lay off. In general context, it means to stop doing something or to stop bothering someone. For example, lay off the caffeine means to reduce or stop drinking caffeine. While lay off him means to stop criticizing or bothering someone. In employment context, it refers to ending someone's employment, often due to economic reasons or company downsizing. For example, if a company says, we had to lay off several employees. It means those workers lost their jobs as part of cost-cutting measures. Let's watch some examples. Bad news for Rachel. Look at that bee. <laughs> can you just can you just lay off, please? All right, my life is an embarrassment. Oh, I tried to lay off her, but then she dragged out the paternity test. But lay off her, I can fix it here. You can die at any moment. How much time do we have left? Thirty odd years, forty if we lay off the sauce. 
Your father's company is laying off people right and left. So what does this mean? Well, we're going to be laying off people in every department. Hey, listen, I know I came in late last week, but I slept funny and my hair was very, very straight. <laughs> you. Now let's watch that scene again. Riley, you aren't packed yet? <gasps> You're always on me! Can't you just lay off for like one second? Uh, number four, old school. Let's watch. The, the next three days could determine the next four years of our lives. Oh, now I think that's overstating things a bit. Oh la la, Joy is so old school. What? Old school. It refers to ideas, methods, or styles that are traditional or from a past time period. It often implies a sense of nostalgia or respect for older ways of doing things, which might be seen as outdated compared to modern approaches. Let's watch some examples. What's he doing? Is he cleaning? No, no, it's an, it's an old school leak detection process. It's a broom. Wait, you have? Yes. Well, Dad's an old school kind of guy, right? Eye for an eye and all that. School spy stuff. Do we know what we're having? No, we're keeping it a surprise. Old school, nice. Edward is old school. He was really hard on us, really traditional, and really old school. Rule number one. It's nothing like an old school safety brief to put your mind at ease. Now let's watch that scene again. The, the next three days could determine the next four years of our lives. Oh, now I think that's overstating things a bit. Oh la la, Joy is so old school. What? Number five. There is a lid for every pot. Let's watch. Let's... Goodbye, friends. Hello, destiny! Well, there's a lid for every pot. Come on! There's a lid for every pot. It means that for every person or situation, there is a perfect match or solution. It suggests that no matter how unique someone is, there's always a fitting counterpart or solution out there. Now let's watch that scene again. Let's... Goodbye, friends. Hello, destiny! Well, there's a lid for every pot. Come on! Great! Now let's tackle some questions and test what we've learned. Number one. Which one means be hard on oneself? A. Be kind to yourself. B. Be critical of yourself. Or C. Ignore your mistakes. Well done. The answer is B. So be hard on oneself means to be critical of oneself. Number two. Which one is not a meaning of layoff? A. Promote someone B. Fire someone or C. Stop annoying someone Good job! The answer is A. Number 3. Which one is a synonym for old school? A. Modern B. Innovative or C. Traditional Well done! The answer is C. So, traditional is a synonym for old school. Awesome work! You've completed the lesson. Don't forget to like this video and share it with a friend who is also learning English and who maybe is a fan of Inside Out. Now I want to hear from you. What did you learn in today's lesson with Inside Out? And do you have any questions? Drop your comments below this video and we'll eagerly read them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can watch this video next. See you there.